Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's Jaisha and today I'm showing you guys a few different ways to restyle your curls. These are especially handy on those busy days because they are quick and easy. And I have an old wash and go that I'm starting with. It is a week old and it's just time to switch it up. So for the first and easiest thing to do when my wash and go is not too fresh, but also not too frizzy, is a headband. There are so many different colors and prints and styles you can do for headbands. And it's just a really cute and easy way to accessorize your look and also help to keep your hair out of your face. You can lay down your edges if you want, do something cute with them, or you can hide your edges underneath the headband if you want to, whatever you want. But this style is just super easy and it takes no time at all. Next up is also a headband, but we're going to use our hair as the headband. So to start, I'm parting my hair down the middle, which this middle part was already here, so not too much work but you can also do a side part if you want. And then I'm separating my hair right in front of my ear on each side. Now that part doesn't have to be perfect since it won't show, but you can part it if you are a perfectionist. I just find that it brings a little bit more frizz to my curls, so I don't bother. I'm also gonna separate a small portion of hair in the back of my head to add to those front pieces. And the piece in the back is really optional. It just helped me transition into the next style that I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna wet these pieces just to make them softer and easier to work with. And then I'm gonna go in with my mousse, which is the same mousse that I originally used when I first styled this wash and go. I've heard that it helps to use the same products when you're restyling that you originally used. So it's supposed to help avoid flaking and build up if you're staying consistent with the products. So next I'm going to detangle those pieces so that they can lay flat and then add some gel to lay them down. Now this is not the gel that I originally used for this wash and go. Unfortunately, I ran out of it, so I just used what I had, which is this Fenty Stronghold gel that does a really good job at laying my hair down and making it sleek and shiny. And I'm just gonna apply that to the front pieces and brush my hair with a bristle brush so that it stays nice and flat. For the back, I'm just spraying water and detangling the hair. The gel isn't really necessary for the back piece. And then I'm just combining those three pieces at the back of my head. I brush and lay down the front pieces so they're sitting how I want them to. And then I bring them around to the back to meet and include that back piece and just tie that into a scrunchie. Again, back piece is optional. You can just tie those two front pieces together and it'll be the same thing. I brush down the sides one more time, lay the edges and let my hair down and voila. Even better than a physical headband because I like the fact that my hair is pushed further back but it's still out. And I feel like you can rock this style regardless of how frizzy your hair is, even if you wanted to rock a fro or even if your hair is short, this will work for you. Now, like I said, that back piece was for an easy transition into my next style. So for the hair that was out, I'm going to put that in a loose ponytail on the top of my head. And when I say loose, I mean I literally just put a scrunchie on it one time. No wrap around at all. We want this puff to be big and it should hide the scrunchie. Next, grab a claw clip, pull that back ponytail that we made earlier up towards the high ponytail and put the claw clip around it and we are done. See how it all looks like it's one piece? This look and style has become probably my favorite when I don't have time to wash my hair, but I need to do something with it. This has become my go-to instead of always doing a bun. This is just a more chill vibe. And you can play with different looks with this too. Swirl your edges, leave out little face framing pieces in the front, whatever you want. Moving on to the next style, I'm going to tie the back half of my hair away so that it's secure and doesn't get in the way while I'm working on the front half. I'm adding a little bit more water just to make it easier when I brush my hair. And then I'm brushing the front half of my hair up into a ponytail. 
And this is why I keep the back half secured and in a low ponytail because it is so annoying when the back hairs get caught into the ponytail and it's just getting tangled and doesn't look or feel right. Anyways, I'm adding a little bit of mousse to the ends of my hair to refresh it. Obviously this part is still wet and stretched from the style that I just did, but it typically wouldn't be if I was just refreshing my hair on a normal day. My hair wouldn't, would probably be dry and my curls shrunken a little bit, but I would still add the mousse to help with any frizz and to refresh the curls. You can also take a small bit of hair from behind your ponytail and wrap it around the base of your ponytail to make it a little bit taller and give a more elevated look. But yeah, here is a half up, half down look that is also super easy and super quick when you don't have much time to style your hair. And then another option, since we're already here, you can make that front half into a little top knot bun. Just wrap the ponytail around itself and use some hairpins to secure it in place. And you just play with the bun until you have the height and the placement and the look that you like. Clearly, I was not paying attention because I have hair sticking out of my bun. <laughs> but whatever and this is definitely short hair friendly when i was in an awkward stage of hair growth and i couldn't get all of my hair to fit into a high bun like i wanted i did this style right here because the top half will definitely fit into a bun all right and last style of the video this has been my go-to for forever literally if my hair is not out rocking my wash and go it's probably in a bun I don't know what it is about a high top knot bun, but we go together real bad. So I always start this by wetting my hair to hydrate it more than anything. Very important, especially with an old style, but it also helps with manageability. Helps you get your hair to lay flat when you brush it and also helps your hair absorb the moisture of whatever product you put on it. And I usually add some type of moisturizing product to my hair, especially my ends when I'm doing a bun, because like I said, working with an old hairstyle, my hair is thirsty at this point. So I use my detangling brush first. This helps to detangle and get out any knots so that they're not sticking out when I lay my hair down and it helps to lay my hair in the direction that I want it to go really helps also with getting it to be super sleek and then I use my bristle brush to finish it off. So first I put my hair into a ponytail making sure that the placement is exactly where I want it on my head and you can switch yours up if you want it on the top, in the back, on the side, your choice. I use a long stocking sock thing to put my hair up. It is too thick for me to use a regular scrunchie for all of my hair. It would never work. So I just wrap that back and forth until I can tie the ends together. And before I do my bun, I usually put some edge control on my edges because that is the first part of my hair that will start sticking up if I don't. And then I kind of just wrap all that hair around itself until the bun is formed how I like it. Sometimes I split the hair in half and wrap it using two different pieces with pins, but I like to use a scrunchie to hold it so I can do that with wrapping it just once. Using a scrunchie also makes my ponytail a little bit tighter, well my bun a little bit tighter, which is why I like using a scrunchie. I know we shouldn't make it too tight, but I definitely don't do this every day, not even every week, so we're good. And it really isn't tight. I just can't handle it being loose because my hair won't lay flat if it is. And that's it for my styles to help you restyle your curls. I hope you guys enjoyed these looks. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.